Welcome to the video blog. I'm Doug Simon from DS Simon. I'm here at the PR News Award Luncheon with Ray Kotcher, Senior Partner and Chairman at Ketchum. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, Doug. And it's just uh, it's a great honor to uh, to be here and to receive this uh, from PR News. Yeah, and congratulations on being accepted into the Hall of Fame. Thank you. We're asking the inductees to share some of their key moments in their career. So was there a moment early on that might have made a difference for you, sending you on the path to success that you achieved? Well, uh, first of all, I have to say that if, if, if I've achieved any success, it has been with the help of a fantastically supportive family and great colleagues at Ketchum. Uh, I'm blessed uh, with both. But uh, growing up as a kid, I had a couple of major passions. Uh, one was theater and one was communications. And growing up, believe it or not, when I was in high school, I was reading uh, the stuff that Marshall McLuhan was writing back in the 1970s. Remember the medium is the message and Global Village? Well, that was Marshall McLuhan. And later on, um, I had uh, a, an important decision to make. Um, I was accepted at Boston University, the College of Communication, to study communications, or the Yale School of Drama, to study theater and drama at Yale. And I chose communications uh, at Boston University, and I've never looked back. It's been fantastic. Yeah, so we hope no college consultants are watching this one right now, but they might be surprised. That decision turned out pretty well for you. Do you have some advice for some of the young people just entering the business? I do. Um, you know, uh, there's no doubt that, 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 that the business has changed tremendously in so many ways uh, in the more than 30 years that, that I've been at this. Um, uh, but a lot of things have not changed. Uh, obviously, we're going through profound change in human communication and the way we communicate with each other, uh, all, of course, uh, driven by technology and changes uh, in media. But some things haven't changed. Um, the power of the idea, the importance of storytelling, and I would say uh, the importance of really deeply rooted strong values. Um, you've, got to, you've got to do it right. You've got to do it right for yourself. Uh, you've got to do it right for your organization. And you've got to do it right for the future of our profession. And uh, I think that people coming into the business today uh, need to make sure that the work that they're doing um, cues to the highest professional standards. And I think if we do that, um, it's a great future for public relations and it's a great future for the people in public relations. Yeah, and you've touched on this before. How can PR as an industry make a positive difference? There's so much cynicism about some of the things that are done. How can it make a positive difference? Because that seems to be a very important focus for you. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Uh, this morning um, I woke up and uh, read the New York Times, as, as I do every day. Actually, these days you read, uh, you know, online, you're reading uh, the news every hour or so. Mm -hmm. um, and there was a very interesting article uh, about uh, virality. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw it, um, but about virality and what the most read stories are um, on blogs and the internet and news sites. And there was a question about the veracity uh, of the stories. Mm -hmm. And it seems that the stories that, um, that uh, have a bit of fiction mixed into them, if not all fiction are stories that um, are are receiving the most notice uh, on the internet, and I, I think we need to be really careful, particularly in this business. You talk about the cynicism, uh, you know, and, and the way people look at public relations. It's a it's a it's it's a noble profession, uh, and it's a great profession. And I think we've got to make sure that uh, that we that we tell the truth and um, and and we tell it well. And if we can do that. I think the future for uh, our business is tremendous. That's great. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, Doug. It's really a great honor, and, and I appreciate taking the time.